Hi everyone, it's Belle. Today I wanted to talk about my experience being trans in high school because I think that a lot of people have it uh, much harder than me and I'm very fortunate in, um, I'm not fortunate, I'm getting a fucking goal, that's what's happening. Um, I've been very fortunate at my school and everyone's treated me really well so I've been very thankful for that. So everyone that I go to school with, thank you for putting up with my crazy ass weird self and um, kind of transitioning with me and um, you know just being respectful because it does make it a lot easier on me. Transitioning may seem like an easy thing because that's what you guys see every single day but it's a lot different when you're at home and going through conflict can make that even harder. So um, I just kind of wanted to talk about what it's like. So basically my experience at school has been amazing. I've been so fortunate. I have so much support from teachers and students and the principals and um, you know so many people so that makes it very welcoming to go to school every day and not feel like I have to challenge people on using the right pronouns and all this stuff. I, I'm i in grade 10 right now. So last year, um, the school that I'm currently at, I went to it and I started grade nine. And for about the first month of grade nine, I was not out as trans. I did not transition at all. And it was kind of just um, seeing how people react to me and seeing how people like me because I thought that was very important to uh, get a feeling of what I am being perceived as and how people are reacting to me and I got a very positive reaction so I took the steps to slowly transition so I was already wearing makeup to school and I I think around October of last year, I did a name change. Um, it was kind of a an in between transitions name before I got to Bell, and people started to uh, refer to me with that name. Some didn't, some did. I mean, when people would call me, I would kind of cringe, and I was like, okay, I just got got through this stage. Just come on, I just let's be Belle. So people kind of didn't understand it at that time and they were a little confused as to what was going on and then around November, December, I officially came out as transgender and I really did ask people to call me Belle and to use female pronouns because I thought that would be much simpler and a much better um, way for me to transition. So a lot of my friends did not get it and they were like, you know, I'm not calling you that. And you know, that was very difficult because it kind of gave me the impression that transitioning is not a real thing to them and it's not important and they don't want to accept it because they don't, they don't want to face change and they don't want to have to learn me all over again and learn a new name, a new pronoun and use that every single day, every time they see me, every time they talk to me. That's a difficult thing. But thankfully, the people who mattered the most to me, they did, you know, pull through. And even people that I'm not close with, they, they call me Belle and they say she and they use the right pronouns. And I think that's very good because even if you're not close with me, I think it's good that you're still respectful. My teachers have been amazing and they, um, you know, they're very supportive of it and they understand it. I mean, I've had multiple incidents where in the school system, I did not have my name as Belle. And when I had supply teachers, when I was already out as transgender and I had the new name and everything, they would just they wouldn't they wouldn't say the right thing the right they wouldn't say the right name and that would kind of embarrass me a lot it, it, not kind of it did embarrass me a lot well I went to my guidance counselors and I asked them is there a way you can put my student name as Belle 
I have not started legally changing my name, so I know they can't do that legally on my report card and stuff, but I'm going to be getting into the process of legally changing my name very soon. So my school did that. They gave me my own bathroom to use so that there was no bathroom dilemmas and nobody was uncomfortable. And I am currently not doing gym class just because it's very confusing and it's just complicated. I think that the fact that my school's so understanding and supportive and not only that, but we're a very diverse school. There's a lot of different types of people in the school, but I think that if you're respectful to them, they'll be respectful to you. And that's kind of what I've learned. Um, I mean, I don't know. I kind of still am skeptical about some people but I'm not name, naming any names, but I think that one thing that you always have to keep in mind is just always have one person that you can lean on. Don't always lean on a whole bunch of people because I, with experience, I've realized that that is not a logical thing to do. You need to have one person that you can trust and that you would trust with your honest to God life. And I have that. She's my best friend. Her name is Sophie. And she's been there for me through thick and thin. And I think that, you know, we go through a lot of stuff and it's made us stronger than ever. And, you know, there's been some people in the past that have betrayed me and left me. But really when I think of it, uh, I don't really care about them because they're not in my life anymore. And, you know... Ella Manny's. That's all I can say. So, I mean, tell me how your experiences are at school when you're trans and tell me how people react to you and your experiences because I really am interested in knowing what your guys, what your experiences are like. And thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, any suggestions, please put them in the comment section below. Stay beautiful.